All right, we started with Mendel. We're now doing something with chromosomes. We'll get back to Mendel. We'll make it all fit together as time goes on. But uh, what do we have here? Uh, we saw that we uh, human beings have 23 homologous pairs of chromosomes. Where does half of each pair come from? Half of each pair comes from the person's mother, half from a person's father. How do they line them up in these analyses? How do we match them up a homologous pair? Well, both chromosomes of the homologous pair are what? Same length, same centromere position, which is not pictured here, and same uh, banding pattern when stained. But there is a fourth similarity that you can't see that really underlies all the rest. It's the reason for the other three. And what is that? Well, it's very simple. Uh, these two chromosomes have exactly the same genes. Now, every chromosomal pair has a certain number of genes. A ballpark average figure per homologous pair is a thousand genes. Approximately a thousand genes per homologous pair. And so, let's say this chromosome right here has a thousand genes, the one from the mother. If so, this chromosome from the father would have exactly the same thousand genes in exactly the same place. So what's the underlying similarity between the two uh, halves of a homologous pair? They have this, exactly the same genes in exactly the same place. exactly the same genes in exactly the same place. And so whatever gene is here, there's another copy of that gene here. Whatever gene here is here, there's another copy of that gene over there. Now, one gene we're going to kind of play with uh, is the tongue rolling gene. Mendel didn't work with that, but we are. And if you're in, uh, in, in uh, uh, biology lab in class, we'll work the tongue rolling gene there as well. And so, the tongue rolling gene, that's the gene that gives you the ability, or not the ability, to do this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a tongue roller. Some people are not, uh, because of reasons we'll talk about. But it all gets down to what's called the tongue rolling gene. Now, where is the tongue rolling gene? I have no idea. It's on one of those 23 homologous pairs. Let's say it's on this one. And so, tongue rolling gene, tongue rolling gene. Let's say there's a copy of the tongue rolling gene right there. If so, there would be another copy of the exact same gene at the exact same place on the other half of the homologous pair. So, exactly the same genes at exactly the same place, gene for gene, both halves of a homologous pair have exactly the same genes in exactly the same place. All right. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but let's uh, let's uh, back up a little bit to another consideration. In a uh, recent video, we went over the basics of why we're here, right? Sure, we did. And uh, let's just re reiterate that very quickly. Why are we here? We're here because an egg cell made of sperm cells. Is that is that right? Sure, it is. And so, uh, human eggs have how many chromosomes? They have 23. Human sperm cells have how many chromosomes? Uh, they have uh, 23 as well. I made that awfully big, didn't I? Oh well. Anyway, they unite by a process called what? Fertilization. They form a cell called a zygote. And human zygotes have how many chromosomes? 46. And so, uh, uh, and so we've studied mitosis a bit. Uh, we know that mitosis. Uh, uh, keeps dividing in half, dividing in half, dividing in half, dividing in half, uh, and so forth. And uh, mitosis is, while at the same time, keeping the chromosome number the same. Is that right? Sure. And so 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46, 46. Now, I want to introduce a couple things here. One is a common term for for uh, egg and sperm cells. There is a collective term that I will use a lot in this in later units. 
and that is the term gamete. G-A-M-E-T-E. -E. And so egg cells and sperm cells are gametes. Uh, and so a gamete is an egg cell or a sperm cell. And um, then uh, this process of mitosis. We came up with a summary diagram of mitosis. Let's put that up here one more time. One more time before the next time. And so, mitosis. How can we summarize this process in general? Well, we can uh, start with a 2N cell. And assuming there's cytokinesis, how many daughter cells? Two of them. And what happens to the chromosome number? It stays the same. So what do I write in the daughter cells? 2N and 2N. Now, let me ask you. That's what's happening here. Uh, diploid cells, 2N, diploid means the same thing, are dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing and dividing, producing, in our case, all these body cells. Now, let me ask you this. If this process went on indefinitely, would it ever produce a gamete? See, is this process ever going to produce a gamete? Producing more and more cells with 46? Is it ever going to get to a cell that has 23? I don't think so. So uh, I guess there better be another process in nature that actually uh, does something a little different than mitosis. And there is. It's called meiosis. We're just going to get a brief introduction to it right now. A summary diagram that's, uh, you know, that uh, is, uh, you know, can be compared to this one for mitosis over here. And it starts the same way. Starts with a 2N cell, but then things are different. Uh, there's not two daughter cells. There are, in fact, four. And if these daughter cells are going to be gametes, what do I need to write in those little circles? Zygotes are 2N. Gametes are what? N. So I'd write N, 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 N. So we have something different going on here. Uh, we can say a couple things about this. First of all, there's how many daughter cells? Four daughter cells, absolutely. And what happens to the chromosome number? It gets split right, right in half, right? That chromosome number is cut in half. For us, that's 46 down to 23. For other things, it's whatever their chromosome number is. Now, some of you may be worried. Gee, how many types of cell division are there? This is it for eukaryotic cells. All cells divide by either mitosis. All eukaryotic cells divide by either mitosis or meiosis. And prokaryotic cells have a much simpler uh, means of di uh, division, much simpler than these two. All right, I think that, uh, that takes care of uh, this part of the discussion. Uh, that's it for now.